my friends, Ian Stewart here with another tutorial video. A young lady has just asked me, Ian, how do we add an image to the brand new Splash Page Builder so that it looks right? Now, what she was using was the toolbox. Okay, and I'll show you where we can find that in a moment. In fact, I'll go there right now and then we'll do that. So if we come here to the home page, we can see, let me just click on that. We can see the little toolbox. Okay. Now let's just have a look at this. I'm going to right click this and I'm going to click save as, and we're going to save it on my desktop. But it's be called the Babu or build a biz online toolbox so i'm going to save that okay you don't need that so we'll close that down and if we go to there it is that's the beauty now if if i click on this double click on it i use what's called earth view to view my images okay and i chose to use a dark background so that i can see if it's got anything in the background of the image and this has so what i must have done when i uh, wanted this image on the home page at build the online was crop it the uh, or in other words cut it from a page that had a white background okay we don't want that and i'll show you why now okay if i just close that down and then we come back over here and we come to our members area we'll do a test shall we so we're going to click on splash page builder and we're going to call this an image test so this is how you would set up a campaign or a new splash page or capture page depending on what you're going to do and then you would choose a name and click save my splash page reference name Okay, then we would come over here to the Splash Page Builder again, go all the way down there, and there it is. Now, if you was to look at the default um, page, so we click on there, you would see this, and this is not what we want. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me just close this down. I'm going to come over here. To the members area we're going to change the template so all we do simply is choose one of our modern ones so, so this is this is uh, one of them mostly they're all down the bottom now as it's autumn i'm going to choose this one now there's two you could choose from this one or this one this has got no link on the bottom okay and I've designed it that way so that you could use this as a capture page. But this one has got the click here, so a link on the bottom, and I'll show you. So if we left click on there, we click update, then we go come over here. A lot of our members say your splash page builder is rubbish, it's not changed. That's because you have to do this. You have to click that refresh the page and it says there we've got an invalid url so i have clicked the wrong one so let me come down here come all the way down there and click on there okay then refresh thank you very much Ian. so that's the refresh button just up there so every time you alter something you must refresh it okay now isn't that gorgeous it's autumn now so I thought I'd choose this one. So here it goes. Now what we need to do now, I want this image on that page. I know it's got a white background. I'm going to show you what it looks like if we do that now. So if I now come back over here and then go to the Builderbiz Online page again, I'm just going to show you quickly. So if we just click on the home page, and if we right click on that and click copy image and then come back over to the members area, go to the right campaign, I'll call them campaigns, 
and then we open this up and we left click in the box what we do to paste that image in there is click it's the bottom left button on my uh, keyboard which is ctrl which is control so i hold that down and then i click uh, click v and there we have it and then i click save so this is the site let me just close that one down so we say to ourselves well it's not changed and i've just added an image because we need to go up here and click on refresh now you can see what this young lady is saying that is ugly it's horrible so how do we get rid of this white background on here we use some of the tools of builder is online so we come over to the members area again and we click on tools and we're looking for this autoresponder and image tools okay so we right click on that we'll click open the link in a new window and bob's your uncle there it is okay so we don't want the um the autoresponder okay we don't want the traffic log we want these tools and what we want is the very last one just here image background transparency and we're going to left click on that it'll come up to this okay then we're going to click on this little box here and we're going to add our image so we left click on that we open it and we give it a couple of seconds to cook and there what we have is in the left hand box we've got the one with the white background it's grayed out at the moment and here is this one on the right hand side and it's took all that white out of it okay now this will look beautiful so what we need to do now is to download this onto our pc so we click on that and we download this one not this one this one is the left hand image left hand image and this is the right hand image and there it is bottom left of your screen right now so now what we do we we just go across and then i'm going to move this just here so let's play with this just a second let's close that down so if i double left click that there's the one with the white image if i can now close that down and double left click that it's got a clear background and it's called image transparency so there we have it this is the one that we need on our page now we cannot right click this or copy this and paste it onto our page why not because it has not got an address online it needs an address online or a url or a link so how do we get around that we use build of this online tools so we can now close this down and we can now use our free image hosting so here we have it so what we do now with this is left click choose the one with the white background now the one with the white the white background i'm sorry choose the one with the transparent background the one with the transparent background will always be a png file not a jpg to make it easier what you could do is rename this okay you could rename this and you could put uh trans uh toolbox okay so there we have it so we left click that remember it's the png and then we click open and then we click upload now i want you to remember this guys please remember this there's no way of you once you close this page down 
of getting this link again let me just close that thing down just there okay there's no way of you getting this image again so what you will need to do is left click over this these are rubbish you don't need these okay you left click there and then you right click and copy and then this is what i want you to do i want you to open by going in the little box uh you can't quite see it let me just see if i can move it down i don't know whether you could see it yes you can notepad it's the only way that you will ever remember it. And then what I want you to do, let's put this back where it was, which is just about there, and bring this down. I want you to put, uh, I want you to click Control and V. Then I want you to do a couple of spaces and put uh, Trans uh, Toolbox. Whatever you wish okay then i want you to click the save i want you to click save as onto your desktop and i want you to my babu images how's about that i click save okay so now what you should have if you close this down it will close all this lot down we should have a file just here called my babu images then you will always know where they are okay you could if you wish you could put that in between or better still that in between okay but once you do that you must always click save so i know now where to find this image if i need it again make sense yeah it makes sense so what we need now is not the url because we don't need to do that because we can do the same as we did on the build of us online home page we can right click over the top we can click copy the image left click on the copy image come over to the members area left click over the image in there and click delete because we don't want that and i want my image in the center so i'm going to do that and i'm going to hold that control button down and at the same time click v okay so there it is now this should be the correct one and if it's not there will be trouble so let me just do that again if i pick the correct one guys png it don't look as I've picked the wrong, right one. Copy. Let me just have a look at something. Trans, yeah, that should be good. We should be good to go. So, copy. Come back over here. It doesn't look right to me, that doesn't. But we're going to do it again. Thank you. Okay, and then we're going to click save. Now, we can see it on here, but can we see it on here? Well, it still looks rubbish, and that is because we have not refreshed the page. So we come up here, and we refresh the page. And now you can see that this image has not got a background so that is how to do it okay it's as simple as that guys and then as i say this has got a click here so i can come back over here and i can put a link just there so whatever link is in there it will reflect on this page just here now if at any time you want to you can come over here you can come all the way down the bottom or you can come back over here and you can click splash page builder change the template and you can now change change it to whatever you wish so let's just say snowfall i'm hoping we don't get no snow but and we can click update and then when we come over here it's not changed so what must we do refresh 
and there it is. That is how to add a transparent image onto our newer splash pages. And don't you think they look good? I think they do. And not only that, they are, watch, you can, um, they are what we call responsive. Okay. Now, what you must do, guys, let's just move this down again, because this is, and then I can click on there. Make sure that your images are small enough to go onto a mobile phone. Okay, don't make them too big. So there we have it. That's how to add one of these images with a transparent background. So not only have I taught you how to add an image to your new splash page, but we've also taught you how to make an image transparent. Okay, using the tools within your members area. So thanks for listening and bye bye for now. Any questions, all you need to do, you know how to do it. Click on this link here. Send me an email and we'll sort it out for you guys. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye for now.